just because Dirk is seven feet tall and he's a great shooter, just because Kevin Durant is seven foot and he's a great shooter, that don't mean all you other seven foot dummies should be out there shooting jumpers. Well, I think uh, the NBA made a big mistake when they, everybody tried to model themselves after the Golden State Warriors. You know, Golden State Warriors had the three greatest shooters who ever lived. Uh, I, I would put those three guys up. They're the greatest shooters that ever lived. So everybody started shooting threes. And it, this is an amazing stat. There's seven teams uh, shoot more threes uh, in the last two years than the Golden State Warriors. And we know the Rockets, they're an anomaly. But the notion that six other teams would shoot more threes than the three greatest shooters that ever lived, uh, that's stupid and asinine. So if the, if the trend continues, their post-up man will be extinct. What would that mean to you? Well, I, I think it's, it's stupid. And, I'm not, and I want to make it clear, I'm not the old man get off my lawn. Uh, there, there's a couple reasons why I think it, it's stupid to play like that. Because number one, you take your size advantage out the game. Uh, why do I want Carl Anthony Towns, DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, Andre Drummond, Blake Griffin? Uh, why do I want guys who are physically uh, bigger and stronger? Why did I, I want them out on the perimeter? That helps me as a defender. Instead of trying to stop one of those big guys in the post, they're going to shoot jumpers. And listen, let's be real. How many great big guys jump shooters there are? Now, you, you have to, Kevin Durant and Dirk Nowitzki, those guys are anomaly, but I'm talking about big guys. But I don't understand why you would take your physical advantage away. Uh, because, number one, now guys don't even get in, big guys don't even get in foul trouble because they, they're out on the perimeter. One of the weaknesses of Joel Embiid's game, he's one of the most talented players we have in the NBA. If I'm going Joel Embiid, I'm on cloud nine and he's shooting threes. I can't double. I, I can't stop him in the post. He's gonna draw a double team and get you wide open threes, or he's gonna get you in foul trouble. But when he shoots threes, I guarantee you, defenders are like man, that was so easy. Because like I say, the worst thing about it, none of these. You ask any coach or any player, there's never gonna be a great seven foot, not named Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Durant jump shooter. Uh, for a big man. So if Shaquille O'Neal were in the NBA today, do you think his coach would post him up? Oh, he'd have to post him up. You as a coach, your job is to not try to fit the, your system. You have to use the players you got. Look at some of the three-point shooting from the, the big guys we got going uh, in the NBA today. They don't have good numbers. We don't have any seven-foot guys shooting 45% from three. Uh, but if you, listen, if you have a Shaquille O'Neal, a Moses Malone, Ema Charles Barkley, um, uh, Andre Drummond, or uh, DeMarcus Cousin, if you don't let us post up and get the other team in foul trouble or draw the double, you just don't know how to coach. So which of the, you mentioned Embiid, and everyone does when we do this. Is he the guy that intrigues you most of all the big men you see? No, in the he's game? the one who frustrates me the most. He could be the best player in the NBA if he would post up more because you can't guard him with one guy. Uh, but every time he shoots a three, I guarantee you the defender is like, thank you. You can't guard that guy in the post. So, you know, Joel Embiid is probably the guy who frustrates me the most because he, he, he reminds me of a, uh, some guys that – if you put a little guy on him, he's too big. You put a big guy on him, he's too quick. He's going to get a good shot or a foul or score. He, I always tell people, a great offensive player, a great offensive player, he's going to score, get a good shot, or he's going to get fouled. You're not going to stop a great offensive player. Uh, but Joel Embiid stopped himself a lot of the time when he shoots threes. But I wonder, too, from what I hear from coaches, is no one's teaching post-up in plays anymore either. Well, I, I don't know if they're teaching, but I think they just, it, you know, it's sports are a, a creature of habit. And people think uh, I hate analytics. I don't hate analytics. I don't think you can build your team through analytics. I gave you a stat earlier 
that there are seven teams. Uh, the, the Warriors shoot the eight most threes in the, in the last three years. They shoot the eight most threes. Anybody who tell you that seven teams should be taken more than the Golden State Warriors with Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant, they just don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I mean, that just makes no sense whatsoever. Those are the those guys are the three, arguably the three greatest shooters ever. And if there are seven teams shooting more threes than those guys, you need to take a look in the mirror. So you mentioned Dirk earlier. Do you feel like he's the big that started it, the whole idea of a stretch four or a stretch five? Was he kind of the one you think everybody said, oh, wait, maybe this is the way to go? Well, I think Dirk was the first stretch four, five guy. Kevin Durant took it the same way. But see, this is the stupidity of this whole thing. You're talking about two of the greatest to ever do it. For regular people, and listen, I don't ever want to disrespect the NBA players. Every single player in the NBA can play. There are no bad players in the NBA. They're not all the best, but every single player uh, in the NBA uh, is a good player. But the point I want to make is, if you try to do things the greatest ever did, that's not smart at all. When you got an advantage, why would you shoot a three over little guys? That takes my advantage away because I'm not getting the other team in foul trouble if I'm shooting threes. People are only fouling James Harden on the three because he's, he's out there flailing around and grabbing you and bullying you, and he's a great player. But I'm not going to foul Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis. Uh, I'm not going to foul those guys on a three-point shot. I'm going to let them shoot it, and if they can make enough, I shake their hand and say, you were better than me. The evolution of this pace and space game. Big man could do more. That's stupid and asinine. It's cute. You're better off shooting the three. I'd be Michael Jordan in, in this era. I'm old school. You have to adapt uh, or change sports. <laughs>